Okay, six graders, let's solve this one level four right now. Attention here for what is asking for. The Saskatchewan Glacier in Columbia Ice Fields of Alberta, Canada can be approximated by a rectangular prison with a length of 13 kilometers, the width uh, of 2.5 kilometers, and the depth of 1 kilometer. Guys, you need to understand this word problem here because depth and we and height is the same thing but height we go up depth we go down but it's the same meaning okay let's go here let's first of all draw our glacier well we know the glacier is kind of like that exactly but here is 13 kilometers oh okay. here things I don't need it yes let's plug in the informations we got from the word problem I know the length it is 13 or the width if it doesn't matter in this case I will use this is 13 kilometers and the width 2.5 the height or in this case the depth is one kilometer area of surface area of the glacier guys to find the area of our glacier we need first of all understand the point here find the surface area of the glacier that is exposed to the to air guys the level the bottom side is exposed to the air no it's just stop and rectangles around let's find the area over here the first area is this one, the front side and the back side, front and back. If you notice, guys, it's 2.5 by 1. Then it is 2.5 times 1 plus 2.5 times number 1. Great. 2.5 times 1, 2.5 times 1 left and right left and right on left i know is this one here one and that one there in the back okay left and right left and right here guys if you notice it's 13 by 1 13 by 1 then it is surface area 13 times 1 plus 13 times 1 and now just the top the top top of my shape here 13 then it is times 13 and add up let's add up everything here now 2.5 times 1 is 2.5 2.5 plus another 2.5 now the second one it is 13 times 1 13 13 plus 13 the last one 2.5 times 13 2.5 and 13 3 times 5 15 carry 1 3 times 2 6 plus 1 7 1 times 5 5 1 times 2 2 5 12 and 3, 2, 5. How many decimal points we have? One decimal place. One decimal place. 32.5. Adding up. Let's add up all sides here. Which is 5. 13 plus 13. 26. And 32.5. Twenty-six plus five, it is thirty-one. Thirty-one plus thirty-two point five, it is sixty-three point five. Three point five kilometers. This is the surface surface area of this glacier. Right now, the volume, guys. 
The volume is pretty simple. I think remember length times width times height. Okay, we know it is 13 times 1 times 2.5. 13 times 1 is 13. 13 times 2.5. Oh, we have this already. It is 32.5 cubic kilometers, guys. Cubic kilometer because it's volume. Guys, if the length, width, and depth are all cut in a half. If I divide by two the sides, okay? Now let's draw the new prism. Half of this. New prism, it is 1, 2.5, and, oh no, the half, sorry. Five. Ah, 5, 1.25, half of 13. 6.5 What is the new volume? Well, mister, let's multiply then. It's 0 0.5 1.25 times 6.5 which is 4.0625 It is 4.025 that guys, as as we are doing this, this, this formative was online. You can use calculator that day. You just create a fraction over right here. Which fraction, Mister? It is four point zero six two five divided by thirty two point five. Mister, why not the opposite? Well, you can do the opposite. Thirty two point five divided by four point zero six two five. But you, the answer you got, you would see the how big is the first by the second. And here I want to know what is the volume we compare with each amount. We are we and we are comparing, guys. Let's just write here: four point zero six two five divided by thirty two point five is zero point one two five. Remember that from our fraction class. We can translate this in fraction, which is one eighth. It's between the glacier of the big glacier and this one, one eighth from the original one. Great. I think you understand this point here for this activity. Let's go ahead for the last one. Question 11. In question 11, it is show a rectangular prison with a surface area, oops, let me get here. With a surface area, the dimensions 4, 6, and 12 has a surface area that's numerically equal to its volume. Let's prove here, guys, the volume, as you remember, it is length times width times height. And the surface area of a prison, rectangular prison, it is 2 times length width plus length height plus width of height. Great. We need to prove those formula here is the same. How can we... Well, just multiply here. 4 times 6 times 12. We will find the number 288. Yes, let's see here. 4 times 6 times 12. 88. Great. Another surface area. It is 2 times... Length and 4 times 6 plus length and height, in this case, 4 times 12. And the last one, the height. By here, 4 times 6 is 24. Plus 4 times 12 is 48. Times 12, it is 72. Let's add here, 24 plus 48 plus 72, it is 144. 2 times 144. 2 times 144 is 288. We prove by the formula, this one. They are numerically equal. Then B, there are 9 different ones. You need to prove one more is like that. And there is a cube. 
Well, guys, to prove that like that, you need to get to think about one times one times one, and plug in the formula. Two times one times one plus one times one plus one times one. One not works. Two not works. Three, four, five, six works. Let's do it here. It is six by six by six. Let's do it here. The volume is length times width times height, which is six times six times six. Six times six, 36. 36 times six, 216. The other one, plug in the formula, it is two times six times six plus six times six plus six times six. It is two times 36 plus 36 plus 36. 36 plus 36 plus 36 or 36 times 3. 108. 2, 108. 2 times 108, 216. The volume and the surface area is numerically equal. Uh, this is our formative number seven. I hope you learn a little bit more, understand the point here. And let's go ahead to our summative. Great. Love you guys. Enjoy this time to study. And if you have any doubt, you know how to recover to me. Bye.